Hello and welcome to Psychology PSY3 News Night. Today we're going to talk about neural and hormonal mechanisms in aggression. Neurotransmitters are chemicals that enable impulses within the brain to be transmitted from one area of the brain to another. You've been diagnosed with low levels of serotonin. <laughs> Serotonin is thought to reduce aggression by inhibiting responses to emotional stimuli that might otherwise lead to an aggressive response. I'll give you some water. I don't want any of your water! Hi, I'm Man et al. Back in 1990, I gave 35 healthy subjects dexfenfluoramine, which is known to deplete serotonin. Using a questionnaire to assess hostility and aggression levels, they found that dexfenfluoramine treatment in males, but not females, was associated with an increase in hostility and aggression scores. Raleigh et al. have added support for the importance of serotonin in aggressive behaviour in a study of vervet monkeys. They found that individuals fed on experimental diets high in trifectam, um, which increased the serotonin levels in the brain, exhibited decreased levels of aggression. It's a whole new world. The male sex hormone, testosterone, is thought to influence aggression from young adulthood onwards due to its action on brain areas involved in controlling aggression. Evidence for this association comes from a number of sources. Hello, and my name is Lindman. I did a test which found that young males who beha behaved aggressively when drunk had higher testosterone levels than those who did not act aggressively. This is my participant, Jared. Jared is drunk. He's had vodka shots and he's being very aggressive towards me. Ah, Jared. I'm going to measure his testosterone levels to see how it affects his aggressive behaviour. Just as I suspected, higher testosterone levels than normal makes him more aggressive. The main limiting and evaluational factor of testosterone is highlighted by Muzzer. He suggests that it might just be dominance which causes aggression. This is an important question we need to ponder on. Individuals may act aggressively when their intent is to inflict injury, whereas they may act dominantly if they wish to achieve or maintain status over and over. He's like trying to punch him, he's like, and he's got to hold him back. <laughs> 